Are you vlogging? Okay, well, my name is Danielle. Um, I've known Essendon for a long time. I don't know, I can't calculate the day. Sorry, guys, I, I tried, but it's been years. Well, um, I was born and bred in Ghana, and I'm gonna grow complete, but I went to Have school. you told them your name? I told them my name is Danielle. Okay, Danielle. Okay, fine, my name is Danielle Adai. <laughs> Great. Why? <laughs> Oh, nice. Maybe someone may recognize me like, ah, is that Daniel? But yeah, I it's me. Daniel. It's me if you know me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was born and bred here, but I went to school, so I've been out of the country, let's say, seven years. Did a bachelor's and a master's. I just came home not too long ago. Welcome um, to Ghana. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Please do things efficiently here. Everything is a hustle. Why? <laughs> Anyway, no, that's not. Let's just forget about that. Oh, okay. but um, yeah. So I just moved home, and I'm just hoping, looking forward to having a good time and um, being back home. Anyway, uh, just picked up Kizomba lessons just to, you know, while away the time to like find a job or settle on something <laughs> to do. I don't know. I don't know if I want to start a business or whatever. Cause I feel we'll like... pray for you so that you start a business. Uh, like, that's. I feel like doing it. business in Ghana is a lot of work, but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I'll, I'll think of something. I don't know. Um, I guess I spend most of my COVID period watching like, a lot of cooking and baking shows. Maybe I'll pick up baking. Who knows? I don't know. And I'll, I'll think about it. You should. Uh, <laughs> I'll help you eat. <laughs> um, I guess I enjoy spending time with my family. I have three nieces and nephews, two nieces and a nephew. Auntie Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> this one is annoying. <laughs> please watch her channel. Yes, uh, please watch my channel. And today I guess we are here to talk about depression. And depression. How, you know, how real it is and please if you are feeling any symptoms or signs of getting being depressed or you know having all those i don't want to see anybody or don't want to talk to anybody episodes it's time to go and find some help or at least talk to somebody about it okay so daniel i want us to go back in time why are we going back in time so <laughs> <laughs> like how has your mental health been like right from the time you were a kid to now? Ah! Oh, whoa, that's a good question. <laughs> I guess when I was a kid, I think I had trauma, but I was avoiding doing the work to heal. Okay, so like what really happened? Um, I think I had moments of like abandonment and neglect, and that really affected self esteem and stuff like that. Yes, I was a good student in school, but if I was in a better health state at the time, I probably would have been. A student. Well, I know I wasn't an A student. I was an A student, but I'd probably be like flying colors, doing competitions <laughs> around the world, or whatever I was. But I was just, I was doing well, but I could have done so much better had I just talked to somebody about how I was feeling instead of suppressing my feelings or you know get into a space where I don't want to see anybody. So Usually, as a kid, you didn't want to see anybody. I I wouldn't say that. I actually was over social to a point where you might question why i like being around people i enjoyed being around people i was active in church i like to go for all the youth programs do all the fun things but beneath all that was a really broken child who needed to be healed yeah okay. if, if i can put it that way okay. so for many people i was a happy kid i was an a student i was probably traveling most vacations doing all the fun the things. bougie kid <laughs> But, fun things, but beneath all that I was hurting I was a painfully broken person who needed to talk about it and it took me years to not talk about it and then we got to I guess last year last year 2019 yes um at the time I didn't think it was necessarily childhood trauma that I was facing facing um, I knew something was going on but I couldn't really tell what it was but I'll just summarize it as you get to a place where you're going to work and you're not excited about work. You're just going for the money or for a reason to say I have somewhere to go. 
And I, at the time, I was also juggling school and work. So last you summer, your masters. Yes, last summer I was basically going to school full time and working full time. So I was going to school during, going to work during the day and going to school at night. So it's like go to school from nine to five, then go to class six to nine thirty, then do homework, sleep, wake up, do the same thing. Oh, it's intense. Oh yeah, I mean at one point I had three jobs, so that internship was actually a blessing because I quit two of the jobs and I held <laughs> one, okay. and then along the other one. So yeah, it was um a very tough time, but I guess last half of last year was when it became a little bit more than can be handled. Um, had me in hospitals. You were in hospital. Yep. For your mental health. Yep. <laughs> So if you have mental issues, please, you need to talk to somebody. It's not really a joke like people make it seem. Okay, so like how did September, what was happening? How did this start? I woke up one morning and I think one or two days at work, I was having like shivers. Like I had parts of my body just shaking for no reason. So I went to a hospital for a first like one time, you know, checkup and they were telling me like my blood level was really really low so initially they put me on like iron medicine just to bring my blood up mm-hmm. so i think my eating has slowed down i wasn't eating as much and then sleeping became a problem so then that, couldn't that, sleep. i couldn't sleep i was struggling to sleep what else was happening a lot of things were going on at the same time so keeping up with even what is going on is also difficult <laughs> <laughs> most people don't tell you that aspect because you think it may be Maybe it's like food or something, but it really could be blood issues. It could, it could be your heart. It could be something else. Mm-hmm. But it's plenty of things that are going on in the, in, you know, in the same space of time. So yeah, um, I guess the last half of last year, a good chunk of it I spent in hospitals. I've missed classes. I've had to send teachers notes that I'm not coming today. Doctors have written notes telling the teacher I'll be late. Like there's been a lot going on. It's not as, as it's not as simple as people make it sound and um yeah so even though i wouldn't say i'm completely over it the the health aspects are less troublesome right now it's more so being able to socialize and get out and do fun things which is why i picked up dancing lessons just this week actually i went to my first class Um, okay so what was happening to you was poor condition Depression. I would call it depression. That's what I would call it. I don't know. I wasn't necessarily diagnosed with anything But I was in that space where I don't want to talk to anybody hang out with anybody okay. Or even if I'm hanging out with people, I'm not I'm not fully present like my body is there, but my mind is <laughs> somewhere else Yeah, I'm not fully present. I'm not fully like engaged. I'm not really enjoying my time or well, I was using it as distraction for not really talking about what was happening. Okay. So. so what about the shivers? And those you, you couldn't breathe yeah i had a couple well i don't even know if i'll say a couple a lot of <laughs> panic <laughs> attacks panic and anxiety attacks like i either was breathing way too fast or just like almost like a person who could not breathe at all and it's the most i don't know confusing situation, situation to be in because sometimes i will be on the phone with my mom I would just be unable to breathe. I would have both the shivers and the panic attack. Like nothing has happened. Oh, nothing has happened. We're just having a regular conversation and I cannot breathe or I'm shivering for no reason wow. whatsoever. So I'll just summarize it as I spent a good chunk of last year, half of last year in hospitals. Even my master's program, I my grades started falling. Yes, I finished with a pretty decent GPA, but I could have done better because my first two semesters on GPA was pretty high, so it was really a mm, what did I call it? It wasn't easy for you. Oh yeah, definitely was not easy. Easy, easy is by far nothing close to what it is. Okay, so like, what? How did you get help for your problem? Because well, I know now you sleep, right? Well, you yeah, sleep. my sleep is better. <laughs> I would say it's one hundred percent. The shivers, the, the shivers stopped. They, okay. they stopped. I've barely had any in the past couple months, but sleep is definitely better. I struggle to fall asleep, but a good chunk of the time that I will fall asleep, I will stay so asleep. There's yeah. improvement. Yeah, but once I wake up, it's difficult to go back to sleep. So yeah. 
usually if like i'm under a fan or something is blowing that will you know throw my eyes i will sleep a lot easier however since i came back i've been eating a lot of like, cocoa and kosi and that was <laughs> making me <laughs> <laughs> sleep in no time but like the help how did you get help well actually so it was actually one day i was at my job and my sister texts me like a regular how are you don't you miss me and i'm like listen it's not even that I'm, it's not i'm not thinking about you guys or anything like that but i'm really in a space where i'm not sure if i'm just lazy or i'm depressed like i'm i feel like i'm in a place where i don't want to do anything i don't want to see anybody work is a grudge i feel like i have to force myself to get out of bed because initially i'd wake up at five no later than 5 15 and then some days i would stay in bed to like almost 6 30 which is borderline i'm close to late for work i'll make it on time but i'm close to late because if i stay even 10 extra minutes that has messed up everything because i used to like make my own breakfast and take it to work yes my job had breakfast but i also had to pay for breakfast so imagine eating an average of three dollars of breakfast every day for a whole week that's about 15 dollars, which is actually a lot of money yeah, that's that's another thing. You guys think that America is like heaven and we <laughs> we have money because we live there. Please, we are struggling just like you and I. And in reality, a lot of people, you people in Ghana, are living a lot better than we are. So, just a heads up. So maybe you want to go to America or UK or whatever it is. Fair enough. Please go. But when you go there, don't think it's gonna be roses and flowers because it's really not. You might make good money, but there's always a bill. There's a bill for rent car insurance uh, gas electricity and they're all individual separate bills it's not like it's one big one that you can save up your money and go and pay but there's always an unexpected something your car will spoil me and car issues no are best friends stressed out <laughs> <laughs> me and car issues are best friends like <laughs> some days my car engine will just stop i had to have my car well my old car i had a smaller car compared to what i have now my old car, I've had to tow my car from DC to Maryland. That's an hour, that was like $200. That's money, I did. That, at that time I didn't even have the money. I was still an undergrad and you know, I was going through a lot. But anyway, all of my depression was really during my master's program. Because undergrad, I was pretty normal person. <laughs> yeah, still normal. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pretty normal person, so it's not really a simple process. But anyway, long and sto short story. My sister texts me like, hey, how are you doing? Don't you miss me? I'm like, you know what? It's not that I don't miss you guys so I'm not thinking about you, but I'm really in a space where I don't want to do anything. I don't want to see anybody. I don't really care for myself. I'm just there. We're going to work is a grudge. I have to force myself to want to go. I have to force myself to do anything mm -hmm. besides what is routine to me. I wasn't really finding any hobbies or anything exciting besides going to work, come back, go to school. That was it. That was my entire life so yeah so she says oh yeah you need to go to therapy she recommends therapy fast because she also had her own you know little situations that she went she with, dealt her, with, mental and, with her mental health and she went to therapy and it actually helped so she recommends therapy and i start therapy and then i fall off along the line because i didn't feel like it was helping yeah. that's how you felt yeah i didn't <laughs> feel like it was helping at all that's that's how i felt but so yeah um that's how I got into getting help for myself and at least even if you're not completely better you at least want to fight another day and, and, and try you may not get better today tomorrow next week it could be a month years it may not even never get better but you're at least trying to live the next day to see if that it will get better it's, it's not really an easy something to do with so okay so for someone who is watching you who feels like they can relate to you what what would you like to tell them like they can relate with some of the symptoms you mentioned well i would say if you can afford to get help please get it even if you can't afford get to a family member yes talk to family <laughs> and friends somebody yeah. because if you're dying of cancer you tell the whole world so yeah if you can't afford it talk to a friend go to this okay here's the problem with our generation we don't like to have face-to-face -face conversations we will go to phone text twitter instagram face we'll go anywhere but in front of another human being mm. and that's what we are missing with our relationships face-to-face -face conversations you have to talk to somebody i can't tell you will get better i can't tell you that the person will be able to necessarily relate you talking to somebody that person has been through something similar close to it may not necessarily be the same theirs might be 
childbirth or a loss of a friend or work something maybe yours is just i'm in a bad mood today or i'm having a good uh, i'm having actually you know what i might be having a good time but i might be in severe pain you don't know that you don't know yeah so i would say talk to somebody reach out to a friend like hey you know what i need somebody to talk to yes what's happening i'm not saying by all means narrate your entire life to them but tell them what they absolutely have to hear tell them like this is how i've been feeling lately is it normal should i go and talk about it do i need a friend do i need a companion do i just need to get out of my house it could be just go and get fresh air go for a run jog play basketball have a face-to-face conversation with somebody don't just do the regular what you've been doing every day because that's what you've been doing every day could be the cause of you not feeling like doing anything at all mm-hmm. but you do need to talk to somebody i know in ghana mental health and um depression and stuff like that is really difficult to talk about and also finding a therapist or psychologist is expensive yeah. so yeah talking to someone might be the avenue or channel you need yeah. Yeah, it might be another priest, your colleagues your are worse your pastor i don't know even pastors let's just leave that one your <laughs> priest daniel is catholic <laughs> i'm catholic so somebody will tell me go to confession or something like that yeah snm goes to a regular charismatic <laughs> church or somebody will tell me go to a pastor i'm not saying don't pray about it prayer works i'm yeah, not gonna exactly. deny it it works and it probably works over and above any and everything but sometimes you need therapy you need an outlet to vent to talk to just release whatever is going on because there's always something going on that is making you feel feel that way. that way it could be you're just overwhelmed with work or it could be somebody insulted you and you internalized yeah. it held it all your life you yeah. are just like this clenched and you just need to do this this is all you need to do just this just yeah, feel open good. yeah i feel let it go but by all means i'll tell you to also process those emotions you're feeling because subduing them suppressing them repressing them anywhere to say pushing it down it's a no please you need to talk to somebody it's, it's difficult to do but a generation needs to learn how to do it yeah, and <laughs> we have it. to have face-to-face conversations yes i did it but mine was a little bit different because i had a lot of people around like family and friends but in my case i felt like only really my sister could relate because she had been in a similar situation but most people always tell me listen we've all been here where you felt like everything was crushing down like school was about to finish in my case school was about to finish i was worried about getting a job i was worried about staying in america because all of my family was there and you know they had all gotten the chance to stay permanently like there were lots of things that were on your mind on my mind as well so it was difficult to necessarily explain to everybody like how i was feeling but in reality they had all been in my shoes before. before yeah and in a different you know way so yeah. definitely there'll be someone who, who can relate to, to you in some way it yeah. might even be just a fraction a little bit but there'll be somebody who's there and it's like listen you've been here we may not tell you to be able to do x y z but we can tell you this week attempt to you know go for a run every day get some fresh air go for a walk you know try reading a book do something different from your normal routine because routine yeah. in as much as it's great it also makes you structured in one way that hearing oh i need to go for a walk can sound strange because in your head what is a walk and why am i going like it doesn't make sense but it could be that fresh air or breather that you need to say Oh wow, I really need to clear my head cuz I'm just going from work to school to come back to pursue my goals from 6 to 12. Like just like grinding all the time, we don't have any time to rest. And I know most people who are facing like trouble in times like their 20s, 30s, that period mm-hmm. where you want to work so hard that like your 30s and 40s are fun, you can enjoy, travel, do whatever you want yeah. to do. But if you do all that in your 20s and 30s and you're not alive to spend all the money that you've made, what would you do? You did nothing. You didn't exactly. do anything. You came back to square one. And as much as you've tried, you've really failed that <laughs> section. Exactly. You've come back to the same place because if you break down or something, why were you working 40 hours, 60 days. hour work weeks, you know, hustling to build a business, grow your brand, whatever it is, only to not be able to spend that money and enjoy the life that you worked hard for so yeah i'll tell anybody 
Mm-hmm. Talk to someone. That's the first thing you need to do. You have to talk to somebody. I don't know who it might be. Like the person closest to you that you think will be able to relate and you know, even if they can't relate, you need an avenue to open up and somebody to listen to you. I think the listening is what's important. Somebody to listen in, relate and be able to say, hey, I don't know how you're feeling, but I think maybe here's what you need to do. Maybe you need to book an appointment with a therapist or you need to come on somebody's YouTube channel and talk about <laughs> it. You don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, that is really the solution. But talking to somebody can give you an idea of what you need to do because it could be as simple as go for a jog every day of your week, and your head will feel much lighter. Like Jack your shoulders better. will calm down. Yeah. You won't be walking like this yeah. and clenched and feeling like I don't know what to do. I'm trapped. I feel like I I want to kill myself. Yes, if you have any suicidal thoughts, please live another day. I beg you. Like suicide is not a joke, and it's and not the solution. It's not. Uh, <sighs> when it comes to suicide, I can only say it's not the solution. If and only if I know that you've tried any and everything, there was no outlet that worked. But even at that. I'm not sure it's necessarily the solution, but I don't know what people are feeling when they're about to commit suicide. I cannot relate in that light. But also, staying indoors, isolating is suicide. It's slow suicide. (laughs) It's just not fast like that, but it's slow suicide. And I did all that isolation thing. And I'm still in the process of, you know, reworking and trying to connect with people and, you know, meet old friends like her. I haven't seen her in a long time, you know, stuff like that. But you need to talk to somebody, please, like, talk to somebody I, I i can't stress that enough please talk to somebody it's really difficult to do but our generation needs to learn how to have face-to-face conversations because a lot of our problems could just be solved by simple communication yeah, like here's up. what i'm feeling can you help if they can't help they'll tell you i can't help but go to this person or go to that person or go to a therapist go to this hospital something but talk to somebody uh, yeah i think that's about it that's um, what i will say Thank you so much, Daniel, for no joining problem. us on the channel. Yep, no problem. We hope you come again. You you be in Ghana, right? <laughs> I'll be here, but what am I to talk about? Please, if you have any questions for Daniel, you can drop them in the comment section, oh, and okay. I'll put her handles there so that you can follow her. Oh Lord! And friend, <laughs> make friends. Hey, with hey, 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 hey! Don't just so be following me up and down everywhere. We are, 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 we are